Happy New Year! It's the year of the rabbit, and it's also the last week of our Zepeter class. In this week's tutorial, we'll go over basic but important tips like poly count, the item scale and rotation settings, using multiple materials, along with texturing tips, and finally converting our item to Zepeter file to upload on Zepeter Studio. Let's get started! Before exporting the top object, there are a few things we need to check. First is the triangles. Zepeto allows for 6,000 polygons or triangles for the top item. So check for your item in edit mode, the number of triangles here. Make sure it doesn't go over 6,000. Come back to object mode. Hotkey N to open the menu on the right. Go to item. Click the mask, and here the rotation and the scale is very important. So for the mask, you can see that the y-axis rotation is in 90 degrees. The scale for all x, y, and z are 0.01. Now the object that we made has to match the same rotation and scale value. Click your object. You can see that they are the same. That is because we copied our mesh from the base object. So the values of rotation and scale are the same. Let's say that you created an item not copying from the base set and the rotation and the scale is different from the base set or from the mask. The base set and the mask, they all have the same rotation and the scale value. In order for your new item to have the same value as the mask, let me copy this cube so we can compare later. So now we have two cubes. We'll hide one for now. Click your item. First, rotate back 90 degrees, meaning negative 90. And hold and drag from XYZ to select all. Enlarge it 100. Now you see that you have a giant box. We're going to apply transform by control A, apply all transforms. You see that the rotation and the scale value has returned to the default. And here again, change the rotation value of X to 90 degrees. Hold X, Y, Z down. 0 0.01, which is the value of the mask and the base set and you come back to the same original size and rotation you first started. So to have the same rotation and the scale value of the mask and the base set, we've transformed this cube just now, and you can see that the values are the same. Let's compare it with the one that was copied. See, this one has zero rotation and scale of one, whereas the transformed cube has the same values as the base set and the mask. Now let's apply materials in the object properties menu. Go to material properties. Select your item. Delete the Lambert 2 material. We want to create a new material plus new. Double click to change the name. It's always good to use the category code SHD for shader. Enter. Tap to go to edit mode. Select all and assign. Now, if you want more than one material, you can always add another, new, double click to rename. Let's go with top two for now, shader. And in edit mode, place your cursor where you want to select. Let's select the waistband. L for select linked. Go to the little menu down here and select seam to select by different categories. L, L. Now with the top two shaders selected, assign. Select the top shader, select to see which part is assigned. Deselect, go to top two shader and select. 
you can see that only the waistband has been selected as top two. But make sure you have less than five materials because the pedal guide allows for five maximum. Make sure that the creator base set is in T pose, the original pose. So when selecting in the 3D viewport, you click select, shift click to select multiple and shift click again. Or in the outliner, you select mask, control base set, control top. Go to file, export, FBX, selected objects, armature, shift select mesh, shift select other, uncheck bake animation, and export. Open your UV file in Photoshop. Search online for a fabric texture that's seamless of your choice. This is a cotton texture. Drag and drop it into your Photoshop file. Rearrange the layer. Right click, rasterize layer. Instead of using just plain colors, this cotton texture will create a more interesting base for your object. Adjust the opacity of UV to maybe 50. These steps in Photoshop, you don't have to follow. If you're familiar with using Photoshop, go ahead and create the texture you want. I'm just showing you one method that can be done. To select the different parts easily, select UV with the magic wand, shortcut W, click on the outside of the boundary, create new layer, control shift I to invert the selection, alt backspace to fill for color, control D to deselect, again with magic wand W, you can select the sleeves easily this way. You could also add a little cute images like this. Remember that this piece was the front torso. So let's place this in the center. PixArt is a good online source to find free to use contents. Make sure the images that you choose to use have free commercial license. Turn off the UV layer before exporting. File, export, export as, width and height to 512. Check to see the image file size doesn't exceed one megabyte. In Unity, let's create a new folder. Right click, create folder, top underscore 001. Double click. Open the folder you saved your FBX file in. Select your FBX and your texture file. Drag and drop it into Unity. Select your FBX file. Extract materials. Select folder. Select top shader. From the shader menu, go to Zepetto Standard. Click drag your texture file into the box here. Now click drag your FBX file into the hierarchy. And in the scene tab, you'll be able to see your item with the texture applied. Remember we made a second material. I wanted to show you how to create a metallic material. So click top two shader, go to standard, Zepetto, standard. Let's say that if you want silver material, play with the smoothness and shininess to achieve the metallic look. Check from the scene or from the preview down here, or maybe you want a gold look, then select something like this. 
Obviously, this is not a fabric material, but I just wanted to show to create a metallic material. Let's try your item onto a Zepeto avatar. Go to your FBX file, right click, Zepeto Studio, convert to Zepeto style, go to loader, scroll down to clothes, check clothes top, drag and drop your prefab file into the clothes top, select your item in the hierarchy and delete it and press play. Right click and drag up and down to zoom in and out. Left click to rotate. On the left here, you can try out different positions. Go through the different body figures on the right. Especially with the larger body figure, make sure no body parts are sticking out. When everything looks good, click play again to stop. Select your prefab file, right click Zepeto Studio and export as Zepeto. Go to Zepeto Studio, create items, create item with 3D file, top, select your Zepeto file, Enter item name top underscore 001, long sleeve top. Select the category, Chula class, team Chula, and other text that you want to include. Choose your price, test out the body types here, left click drag to rotate, click this arrow to zoom in, check all the other body types. And when it looks good, submit for review. Congrats everyone, you made it till the end! I hope with the basics you learned, you continue making your own items, and most importantly, have fun doing it. It may be challenging doing it all on your own, but reach out to me and I'll do my best to help. I'll see you at our graduation ceremony! Bye!